Christian mail carrier Gerald Groff coming out on top when the U.S. Postal Service required him to deliver packages on God's Day of Rest. And the instrument, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm and jumping on you. Infamous football coach Joe Kennedy was fired for leading prayer on the field, won $1.7 million and his job back after the Supreme Court said Kennedy's prayers were protected under the First Amendment. Joining us now, a man of faith himself, actor Neil McDonough. Neil, good to see you. Thanks for being with us on set as Thanks well. Thanks for having me on the show. Great Appreciate to see you. It. I, gotta it's, I, it's, I love watching your guys' show, by the way. Thank you so it, much. It just, it just makes me happy. We have a lot of fun. You do have a lot of fun. That's yeah, great. It's interesting. There's a lot of wins we're just talking about, but it's only because that we have the courts. And without the courts, and that can change, you know, very quickly over time with, you know, a, a death on the court or a retirement on the court, this can change very quickly and we lose all of the gains that we've made that we just talked about today. You know, it's interesting. I spoke to, to Joe Kennedy not too, too long ago and, and what he's gone through and, you know, what a heroic guy that he is to stick to his core beliefs, his core values and not give up on what he truly believed in. And uh, he, he's just, he really is just an inspiration for so many of us. If you really don't know about Joe, you should look into his story because he's, you know, what he went through for, for what he believed in is, it's, you know, he was crucified and he came out of it and now, and now he's, uh, he's a pretty amazing guy. It, it takes a lot for all of these individuals to step up. And one of my, and one of the instances was involving the um, religion, Freedom from Religion Foundation, who went after Auburn University, and the baptism of it was a couple of hundred uh, individual students who were being baptized on the campus, but for the the mighty to stand up and say no, and and wear their faith, and fight for the faith of all of us, and the and the right to exercise that faith. It takes a lot in this day and age because you're ridiculed, particularly, I would say, probably in your industry. Yeah, I mean, we all know that I, I, I kind of went through some troubles years back uh, because I wouldn't do, everyone knows I won't kiss another woman on screen, so I, I kind of got in trouble for that. Uh, and at, at the time, it was, it was incredibly painful. You know, I didn't work for two years. Uh, I lost everything, house, cars, this, that, you know. It, it was, it was one of the, most brutal times of my life for sure. Um, and my wife, Reve, helped me get through it and uh, my belief in, in who I am and, and what I stand for. And now here I am 10, 15 years later because of that, now doing all these films with Angel Studios. We have The Shift mm -hmm. that just came out and uh, The Last Rodeo, the next one that I just wrote that uh, John Abnett's directing for Angel Studios also. And Homestead, the series I just finished producing with, with, with my wife, Reve, on Angel Studios. It's incredible. You know, where, where I am now, I, I get to finally do I finally get to be heroes in films and TV shows instead of just being the villain, because the villain's the guy who doesn't have to kiss anybody, right? So I wouldn't get any trouble with that. But now, uh, in the next film, The Last Rodeo, I finally kiss someone on screen for the very first time, and it's flashbacks to my, my deceased wife. And who else is playing that but my actual wife, Your Renee? Wife. So I told John Avnet, I'm, I'm famous for one take for my acting. That day might be 15, 20 takes. I'm going to milk that kiss for as long I as I can. It. You know, it's interesting, you, you, you talk about standing up uh, for your faith and not doing things that were against your value. And we, we, we laid the stories that you mentioned, Mr. Kennedy. And if you look at how uh, our faith spread, it was uh, through the blood of martyrs, people who gave their life um, because they believed. And I think it, it, what, what the left doesn't want is they don't want people to stand up. They, because when you stand up, it inspires others to stand up as well, which is why I think these stories are so important to share them and make sure people understand that there's others out there that believe like you do and they're willing to stand up for what they believe. Maybe you will too. Maybe you'll be inspired as well. Well, I was, I was talking to my, my, my pastor back in Massachusetts, Willie Ewing, uh, and he sent me this, I, I forget what verse it was, but it was basically saying we root so much, we cheer so much for our sports teams. And we get so happy when our sports yeah. teams wins. But we don't go out and cheer and, and rejoice in the fact that God loves us and he's there for us no matter what. We may not always be there for him but he's always there for us. And what, it was just a great passage that he sent to me and it made me kind of think about how, how fortunate I am in my life to have my wife, Reve, our five kids, a, a career now that has just been fantastic and I, I'm blessed beyond belief. So uh, thank you very much. Keep fighting. Yeah, thank you. Because the fights never end. Just here in New York, the, there's a, um, a New York bill. They're trying to force some Chick-fil-A locations to, to open on Sunday. Oh so no, you've been following can't do that. that. I, can't do I, that. I mean, this has been, 
again, but congratulations on your new movie. Nothing tastes better than Chick-fil-A on a Saturday afternoon. How's the movie well, after Chick-fil-A? you go to the movie. After you go, that's tell, right. Quickly, tell us about the movie and how's it doing? The shift is, is, is great. It's, you know, it's a small film that it just keeps gaining. And walking through the streets here of New York, so many people come up to me and say, thank you so much for making the shift. We love the shift. We loved your character. I was like, I play Lucifer. It's interesting. I love my character. <laughs> uh, but it's what we did with, with the character is find within my character of Lucifer, we found humanity in the character, that he was once God's guy. And he made mistakes. And we all make mistakes in life. And it's how we get up after we make those mistakes that dictate what kind of men and women we are for him. Uh, and there's that moment in the end of the film where you see in my eyes, my gosh, I wish I had the faith that the lead character has. And I just get choked up. And it's, it's one of my favorite moments I've ever had in any film I've ever been in. And uh, I loved the shift. I love what Angel Studios stands for. Uh, and now we're off to do more projects with Angel Studios and Unity. And Liam Griffin, one of my best friends growing up, uh, is one of the key investors in our next project. So uh, I, I couldn't be happier. And to do this along with my wife, Reve, I'm, I'm the luckiest dude in town. That is awesome. Well, the one thing the fellow travelers share is we're all sinners, right? Yes, we are. Wonderful. We, we all make mistakes. Yes. Yeah. Neil McDonough, Merry Christmas to you and thank Merry you for Christmas. Christmas. Thank Christmas. you very much. Thank you. Exciting. And get out of the cold. <laughs> That's right. Go back to California. <laughs> thank you so much, Neil. Landon Newton of uh, what?